All right, so we're up on the roof. I wanted to show you the solar panel and all the other configurations with the vent, the wine guard system, and the air conditioners. So this is a 265 watt panel. It is designed so that you can plug in a second one. So you can have um, double the solar charging ability. Here's your plug system. So this is the wiring that's gonna run all the way through the ceiling and down about in the middle there, straight to your controller or your charger, I'm sorry. And then from your charger, it obviously will run to the batteries. Okay, so this one is equipped with solar panel and a legacy package, obviously. So um, there's your standard operations for the coach. And then back behind this panel is going to be your one surge guard. So it's telling you what is happening. If there's an issue, it's running off shore power or if it's running off of the generator. So this is your controller. This is basically just relaying the information to you. Up here on the top line, this 14.0 volts, that is going to be what your panel is doing, is the top line, bottom line is your battery. So this is gonna be, obviously, um, that it's pulling 14 volts. There's no power coming to the panel just because it's inside right now. As you get outside, this will jump. Um, it'll range from, you know, five to 35. Uh, all depending on conditions of the sun where you know if you've got trees in the way or if it's even overcast It'll still charge. You just got to watch that So this is currently off um, if you ever have to Mess with the wiring or the batteries or the charger or anything which you probably won't unless you do any major changes Or even put different batteries in it. That's the only time that you'll want to leave this off Otherwise, it's going to automatically regulate and control itself doing what it needs to do so it's in bulk mode right now, so that is going to charge, it's going to accept. When the solar panel has fully charged the batteries, these numbers will say zero just like it is. There's nothing wrong with it, it's not broken, it's just simply the batteries are fully charged so it doesn't need to do anything. If you ever want to change to lithium batteries, because right now we're using a standard lead acid battery, you'll go to this three line selection, you'll select three times to battery type, and you'll see it says wet. You'll just go ahead and you'll slip, change that to lithium. And that just communicates with the system telling you uh, it's okay to run that type of battery and it just performs better. So really there's nothing ever to do here unless you're changing battery type. Um, other than that, that's pretty much just telling you what is happening and what's going on with the coach.